I must have missed something. I should rewind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Ooh. Okay, Max, I'm hella ready. Uh. Your car keys. Duh, way yep. too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Well, I know it's a panda. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Let's see. A gun? I left it in the car. Eh, wrong answer. Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you. Grr. They didn't even like, give me a chance to pick the right one. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. Panda. Seven cigarettes. Eighty six cents. Okay. You got this, Max. Now rewind and blow Chloe's mind. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many <laughs> cigarettes? Brad did. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. So that was cool. Show me more. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Amazeballs! I literally just got <laughs> chills all over my neck. <laughs> you have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Yeah, get that crap sure, out of here. I taught you better than that. <laughs> How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I'm freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. Uh. I will predict the future. No way. Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Okily dokily. Oops. Did you break another cup? Really? Oh. No refill for you. You fool. Well, now I'm gonna <laughs> you take cut this off. Call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. And then the cockroach. That's the best song I've this heard. This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. Okay. So, what are you waiting for? There we go. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Uh. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? Huh. 
The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Uh. Justin yeah. and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Yep. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, what really? Go, Mom? You no fool. refill for you. Shh. And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where's my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're <laughs> a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club we outside. Are... <laughs> <You started laughs> up. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? Yep. I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. <laughs> I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that. Of course it's a toy. The best toy ever. <laughs> You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened. Grow up. Maybe you made a move on that me. That is an introvert stream. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. <laughs> you did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? <laughs> hey, are you okay? <laughs> Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a Welcome sidekick to, to guide my you. Secret lair. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Okay, Supergirl, let's go to my secret place. Don't even answer. We have places to go and people to do. Come on, before mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwater. Yeah, Big it's Kate. You, you don't understand. Once in five years, and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school. Uh, but it's roll. Kate. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Uh, I've got other. That's not just some girl at school. I hear she. That's the best girl at school. Hey, Kate. What's up? Please don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should Let's go into see. this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. Why well, would they always fight? Hens always be clucking, you know. Now, now, it's this part. going to get pissed at me this week. That depends on you and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw <laughs> and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. <laughs> okay then. Good luck with that. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. Freaks <sighs> me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Nerd. Yes, but not that gun. You have I'm more just power than an army. So a little girl. Little I'm so afraid of guns. Besides, bang bang. For the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed. <laughs> right. That's why I love her. Okay, let's do I'm this. Afraid of Can you beer find five bottles of shooting and range? guns? Beer and guns. <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, 
Pretty please. Fine. Let's see. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. Probably. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. Ouch. That kind of hurts. Oh. It's not their fault they you're really a bad were friend. Besties. Oh. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Hmm. Rachel songs. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. Uh, of course she would. If you were her friend. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. I want to die. Jeez. Who wrote this? Obviously Chloe. This is the scariest thing here. <laughs> I wonder how many generations of fashion went through That's that such a good drawing. Oh yeah, here's the other one. Boom, only three bottles left. Now where is... Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same doe from my tornado vision. That's Rachel, because she's... That's where she was. I... It's the perfect photo op. Let's see. Whoa, that's pretty cool. There's nothing there. Uh, that's crazy. Yep, it's a ghost. This was an old school punk shirt. Could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. Hmm. 
I bet I could get on the boat from a higher location. Boop. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Let's see. Every car has its own tale and history. I guess so, nerd. <laughs> okay. All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely... I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. <laughs> Hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Hmm. So sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Probably so dead. Where to find bottles? Maybe in an old refrigerator. Uh -uh. No, we just need to find something to climb up, stupid. Is a fridge. Oh yeah, I remember there was like this little secret spot around here. Stupid bottle. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Wait, what am I supposed to do then? Hmm. I don't remember. Oh yeah, great. Two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Uh, no. no way. I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the hush puppies. Now the sign is just. I don't want to go that way. Why not? <laughs> okay, now we have to find that secret spot. <laughs> it's so quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Like Arcadia oh. Bay is trying to tell me something. Yeah, she has to figure out the message.
Okay. But for real, stretch the secret spot. It's in between all this crap. Bigfoots were here. I know there's a bonfire spot where people party around here. Yeah, the bonfire Wait, spot, the secret spot. One more bottle to go. Oh my gosh, Kate. <laughs> I love it, okay. Wait. Where's the bonfire spot? Here we go. Nope, there we don't go. Where is the stupid secret spot? this way. Ah. Voila. Now I can deliver this bottle. I'm sure this is a popular party pit. What? My rewind power doesn't work on her? I don't get it. Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're going to shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Okay. Max, you have to help me aim. Mm. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Yeah. Okay. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Boom. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so <laughs> fucking cool. Nope. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Hmm. Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. <laughs> now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. 
Uh, let's see. Hello, what should I shoot? I bet you want to blow apart those old computer monitors. Let's reboot them with a bullet. <laughs> old school. Lame. Give me something to shoot, Max. Aim at that old blue plank here. I hate old planks. Uh. Yawn. I must rid the world of those bottles. Give me something to shoot, Max. Uh. Hello? Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? <sighs> Dude, I how about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot Nerd. believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I drank too much. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Ooh. Too much action for me. <laughs> Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. <laughs> Glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> nice. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo hoo, Max is afraid. I can handle this. Oh, but she's just Make a precious proud, innocent sister. baby. Uh -oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. Yeah, we are. In fact, you need it so bad. They're a bunch of stoners. Shiro, <laughs> don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Uh, oh, nothing. Just Where a did you get that bracelet? Magnet. A friend. And it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? <laughs> you looking a battle? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. We Come can't on, shoot, Frank. Shoot me. 
He's not a bad drug dealer. He's just a new ah, Christ. kind of a You're more like misguided drug dealer, I see, Pierce. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. <laughs> you really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my <laughs> She's ass. She's so innocent Step and shit precious. Will have his other guns oh. sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. <laughs> I know, Max. Really. She's still I just a little teenager. Out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Yeah, but you can't well, shoot him anyway because you're too walk. afraid. Hm. We both need a timeout. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. I can't believe you basically gave him my gun. Here <laughs> you go, Frank. Well, you owe him monies. Especially for stupid shit. I'm not mad. It adds up in my mind as people letting me down. And I just liked having that gun, man. But it wasn't even your gun. You stole it. And you owed someone I money, so... You. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Feels like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. Can we build another pirate board and keep the world out? We need a new oh. secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. That's so adorable. Are you okay, Max? I'm still freaked out about what happened. That was awful, Chloe. I'm sorry. But Frank isn't as hardcore as he runs. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, are you for reals? Frank just took your gun and threatened us. He's armed and clearly dangerous. Max, I know. Crazy shit is the new normal for me. <laughs> That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway... Frank and I kind of hung out. Is this your bad boy phase? No, it's my trying to scrounge some quick cash so Rachel and I could get the hell out of here phase. Frank had quick cash, that's all. That's it? No, I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. Uh, what do you think? There must be a boyfriend girlfriend. I think we have to be careful and keep an eye on this guy without him eyeballing us, okay? Oh, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens. And it's like no oh. time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... Has a great eye for images oh. and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at night. Look at the beat poet here. <laughs> Nerd. The sound. The I'd rather be whistle a photographer. Whistle on, on the train tracks. The you bumble are. of the bee. You just have and to the, stop the hum of the birds, you see. The sound about that. Nature's and... Photographies. Perfect. Uh -oh. There's evil afoot. Some kind.
kind of storm we're brewing. We better run. The train. Oh shit. Get me out of here, Max. I'm trying. Let's see. First, we gotta run up here. Shit, I can't that budget at open. all. So we have to grab this other thing. I can definitely use this bad boy. And then run over here. Wait, no. There. And then grab those. Now I can pull a total MacGyver. And I forgot what else. The train's coming! Max, please! I'm on the way. <laughs> but which wire to cut? Get me out of here! I'll be that one. Whoa! Short circuit city. Get me out of here! But which wire to cut? Please. Now that's the right cable. Get out of here, Max! Please. I did. How much more shit do I have to do? Now it lets me pour out. What a broken piece of shit. That was close. You saved me again. Crazy. You were totally bombed. You okay? 
I got splinters in my ass and legs, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. No, you won't. You guys have to die sometime. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. <laughs> explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. Wake up, Max. <laughs> you saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about <laughs> chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation <laughs> is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? I'm just a geek girl in some small town. I'm just a normal girl. A perfect girl. example of strange attractors. Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price. Yeah, you don't even care about my health, you bitch. Sidekick. How can it be Just such a shitty week and get one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Huh, <laughs> nerd. Have fun at school. Time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so uh, Mr. Jefferson. I can do some wandering. My favorite teacher. <laughs> so are you going to and my favorite boyfriend. Trevor surveys his domain. Woman. No, can't go there. Engraved to go to class. Max, can we talk? No. Go oh, away. Creep. I know things got okay. a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you going to bust me now, Mr. Madsen? <laughs> yeah, you're I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no fit. <laughs> right? Didn't you smoke didn't weed in the war? Her. I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Especially is Kate Marsh. But you treat Kate pretty bad. I shouldn't have said anything. You know about that video going around. Is that why you hassled Kate yesterday? I took a photo of that moment for surveillance sake. Yeah, you Soldier, shit. you don't have the facts. You think I'm a hypocrite because I want cameras around here for the safety of the students? That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility <laughs> as head of security? Unless you oh. know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. Rachel Amber. That's all, Max. Shut down. Wow, she's so badass now. That reminds me, I have to score some. Oh, so you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Oh, so Why? You don't Kill that guy. Okay, this way. Bink, big. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this what? chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. 
have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I have a vision. Godium. Godium? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. Damn, zip, nothing, nada. Hey, Warren. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Asking me for help? Have that either. I'm not uh. sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. Uh, okay. Weird science. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. <laughs> Nerd. This can't be that hard. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask <laughs> me for help anyway. How is your drone? Miss right Grant now. busted She's me flying jealous. it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on <laughs> Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts. Oops. And yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. <laughs> I'll add chlorine. How's your campaign going? It's missing somebody who should care. <laughs> no finger pointing in, Max. More people would rather send a text than sign a petition. That's how they keep us all distracted. Nobody will notice cameras on every square foot. Some of us want to use our cameras for good. But people like David Matson want to use them to spy. Jeez, I'm not like him, Miss Grant. I know, Max. But the trick is to make sure Blackwell Academy does not end up like him. I'm just thinking about all the autumn photos I want to take. Oh, this is my favorite time of year. I do love the season change. This whole campus is a visual delight. Damn. I know Mr. Jefferson loves to shoot around here. You must know Mr. Jefferson pretty well by now. I certainly know him as a talented artist and terrific teacher. I've been here a little longer, but he's made a bigger mark. I have to say, it's not quite autumn enough yet. What about that snow yesterday? What's your scientific explanation? Our climate is moving beyond explanation. Of course, some of the tribes here might see it different. I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay, okay. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Mm. Apparently you're not. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hey, Warren. Mm -hmm. Maxwell Silver. Asking me. 
have to add either. <laughs> Lots of Wrong, potassium. Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. I should have done lots of potassium so he blows up. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Nerd. That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full on geek mode. Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. What do you want? Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me, I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Yep, it's all about Kate. The only one. Do you have something you want to tell me? Hmm. Yep. I saw David Madsen harassing Kate yesterday. He was scaring her. Mr. Madsen confuses fear with security. I I'm sorry. Kate had to be a target of his paranoia. If you had proof, I could talk to Principal Wells. Oh, yes. I have an actual photograph for once. Let me see that photo after class. You're already thinking like a real photographer. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Uh, yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. The fuck? You're the she one who's holding back the truth, piece of shit. I'll, I'll see you got shot in the face. To become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Amber? With all her missing persons posters around, he's all afraid because he knows. Think of her. Rachel was nothing like Kate. And Principal Wells said you had something on your mind you wouldn't tell him. You care to share? Oh, you know. I saw Nathan with a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. I was too scared to go to Principal Wells. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I? Excuse me, Max. Hello? Hey. Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Make me beautiful, Hayden. Boom. Boom. What's up, Daniel? Boom. Waiting to draw Dana, Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Uh, show me the love. Creeper. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. If you say so. I'm kind of doing something now, Max. No time to talk, Max. Posing Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure. Here comes the mysterious Max, disguised as a pixie hipster. Like all the other precious twee artists here. You really nailed me. Meow. Bring out the claws. I love seeing chicks fight. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Max thought we were going to be buds. Fucking ha ha. <laughs> you want a good shot, buddy? I, I got my own gun now. I just gotta go get back from Frank real quick. See. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Hmm. What?
What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. Maybe I'll we see you later. We have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually, people need something to judge so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Like Max Caulfield, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, uh, why does the teacher always have to call on me? I'm sure you read the <laughs> that guy's on the toilet. Potter book, so you must know today why would she draw something like that? Skin. Max is too innocent for that, that kind of party humor. About the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective pres <laughs> precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Some crazy shit is going down at the girl's door! Zachary, do not come into my class <laughs> ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Oh wait, my bad. <laughs> Got a little bit distracted here. Yeah? Kate, what are you doing up there? Oh, gosh, up. don't do that. <laughs> oh no, is that Kate? Not again. Not now. Yep. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again. This again. is all Chloe's fault. Life, life, life. Waking, waking, baking. Keep going, Max. You can yeah, hurry up. do it. It's all your fault, you piece of shit. Hm. You're a terrible guard and you deserve to die. Nah, just kidding. But you do deserve to have to go back to war and get more PTSD. Yes. She's just magically at the top. Would have taken forever to climb up all that. to do this by myself? Did you come to get another Pulitzer shot like yesterday, Max? I'm so sorry, Kate. I thought I could help, but not by taking a picture. I'm ashamed. I know you're scared of David. He's scary. Huh. And I know you only want to help. I let you down, and I'm sorry. I only want to help you. I wish you could. It's too late now. There's nothing for me here anymore. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. 
That makes me feel better. I will always be here for you, Kate. Yeah, Mommy Kate, you're the best. Friends come first. I did feel better talking Actually, to you on Kate the phone. Actually, it's Kate comes first. <laughs> Sorry. I always Sorry that. feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning, I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. No, I didn't. I said we're gathering hey, I'm evidence. I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon. Then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Black uh, posts pics of my body. Morty on the uh, internet okay, forever. Okay, a little creepy there. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come also, down with me, we got these nifty I can powers. tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Oh. Uh -huh. Your dad does. Hey, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Aww. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. We love you, Kate. You're the best. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. All I did was try to be her friend because she's hero. the best. Yeah. Real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. <laughs> Mr. Madsen, wisdom. as our head of security here, those root Your doors decree. should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. <laughs> they were not. And that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. <laughs> yeah, you piece of shit, but you're actually the worst piece of shit ever. You are responsible and that's why hipsters have to die. And since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to uh, answer uh, some more questions. <laughs> yeah, like why the fuck did you kill Rachel? I mean, uh, sorry. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the roof with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. I have to say... That... That did happen. Mr. Madsen was bullying. I can't prove that he drugged oh, her, so I can't say that one. Even though that's there. the one I want to say. I saw you getting in her face. But you we got no proof, idea bitch. What you saw. Kate Marsh was I know exactly what I saw. I took the picture. Now everyone else knows too. You shit. Kate had a double life. You'd be lucky if you ever drive one, don't you? When I found out. No, you were part of you the crowd. You can be 
You can and be like a. I said, I personally saw you can Dave be a poop pusher or something. You lying little. Shh. Are you gonna take this junkie's word over your security <laughs> officer? I know yep. she smokes and deals what? marijuana. That has nothing to do with me. <laughs> so, Here's that's just weed. No. <laughs> what a dude. That's, not that's like saying, not I happen proof. to know that Hold on. she also, this isn't a courtroom. uh, to one time she got drunk and, and drank a beer. Well, I have oh, this no. situation to put you on temporary leave. We will continue this conversation later. Hopefully with Miss Marsh when she's out of the hospital. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> uh, this is major bullshit. I let <laughs> suck it down. You're letting this punk lead you? No. I am oh, sorry, I'm you. David. Go back to war. Excuse me. Go get some. I think Max and Nathan need PTSD. a break before we grill them further. A what friend and bad student stuff just tried to kill himself. Stuff. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please. You don't even have a to family. Confirm what you told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Oh, I can't. Screw it. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll no, be we assisting don't. the police with further. We know that the adults are worse than the children. I know this has been a stressful day. You're a deadbeat alcoholic. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. And so this other guy's a pedophile, out. and this other guy's also a domestic abuser. But please tell me about how the marijuana is just going to ruin the whole world, even though all the stoners have never even done anything, like, positive or negative. <laughs> I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a super- Applause, <laughs> what a nerd. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. Uh, it's, it's just I'm the so golden hour. About Kate. She did try to kill herself. All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <laughs> Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really no, happening? Madsen is just a useless piece of shit. He should have... He'd be more useful than dying in the war. <laughs> The weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse feel schedule that today. Chill. I would know. I would. I'm a nerd like that. Aww. I just I need a butt to keep me warm. I believe I'm anything so cold this week. I'm so my little jacket. Or is it a windbreaker? I don't know. Now, now I gotta watch a cutscene. Haha, <laughs> loser. Get wrecked. Oh wait, freak. 
That guy needs to get shot. But we should have taken that revolver and go to shoot him, not screw around. Music is so whiny. Nah, I'm too afraid to talk to someone right now. See, so who is Lynn and Kelly and then Rachel Amber? But who are the other two girls? They never say. Nobody knows. I guess the end of chapter two, or episode two, or same thing. Uh, well, 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 we'll see you in the next episode, and be sure to grant a happy salutations to you and yours. Oh wait, there's one more cutscene. We just gotta skip it. Let's see. Yep, looks like I did the right thing. <laughs> I blame David. That's so cool. Yeah, you're supposed to blame Nathan, but you can't because you don't have any proof, so you're supposed to blame David because you have proof. Uh, also... Chaos, eh? Oh, that looks like fun. Okay. Adios.